Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be here today to introduce to you our amazing machine, kitchen machine. This is Bamix of Switzerland, the most amazing and outstanding kitchen machine in the world. Very small, very compact, very powerful. It has been built in Switzerland since 1954. The inventor, the engineer, Pierre Jacquin, has invented this little machine to replace many kitchen appliances in the kitchen because in the, in the early 50s, we used to have very small kitchens. So he invented this machine to be the most powerful, smallest kitchen machine in the world. Please be aware, this is not just a regular hand blender, it is really a handheld food processor. I will show you later on what we can do with this machine, but you will be amazed about what this machine can really do because I, every time I have this machine in my hand, I'm very, very excited. So this machine has got an AC vortex creating power motor, which is very unique. It's completely different than any other hand blender you find in the market. And this is basically the original. So what you see here is very simple. A hand blender, which is doing a lot of tasks in your kitchen. It can replace many other kitchen appliances. And that was the purpose of the inventor. Because as I said before, we used to have very small kitchens in the past. And so we didn't have the space to do it. But this small machine is very easy, very small. You can take it anywhere you want. You can put it on your uh, shelf and it's always available for any task you have to do for any application. Now, what is important about this machine? This machine has got a vortex system. Everything what comes to the blade is throwing into the machine, spinning around and pushing downwards. It's completely different than any other hand blender. Other hand blenders, our copies, they throw in, suck up and push outwards. So this is a completely different story. The power of this machine is created not by the power itself, the power rate which you get from the source, no it's done by the torque. Because instantly when you switch on, you have the full power of this machine. This is absolutely amazing. You cannot believe how much RPM you get in here. This is really amazing. I will show you right away. But what is important is that's why we have an open space here. So it will never splash out of the pot, okay? What is important as well? We don't need to bring the food to the blender we bring the blender to the food. This is absolutely amazing. So I can use a pot, I can use uh, a bowl, I can use a beaker, a jack, whatever you want. I can go directly into it and blend my food, emulsificate or whatever I need to do. Any task is no problem for this machine. What also is very nice, this shaft is oil rejecting and smell repellent you won't find any other machine who can do that. So it's very easy to clean, by the way. Yeah? Very easy to handle. And of course, we have different attachments. Most importantly, this machine is built in Switzerland, 100% manufactured, not even produced. We, we talk about manufacturing because there's a lot of handicraft in this machine. Every single piece is 100% tested several times during the production uh, period. So every single machine is 100% tested and sustainable. We guarantee a 100% and lifetime warranty on this motor. Can you imagine? This is crazy. No other kitchen machine will do that because we are sure about and they are convinced about our machine is the most uh, powerful and the best in high quality everything. What is also important, we built this machine since the 1950s and every single BAMIX is, has got a modular system. Of course, we uh, developed our quality, everything, but it's always modular. So we can use the same machine with the different accessories from the past, the past machines or the older machines with the newer ones. It's even possible to replace parts in this machine, so we won't have any problem at all. Now, I'm coming shortly to some of the most important thing is the attachments. As you can see, the BAMIX is one piece. 
is not detachable. The only thing which is detachable is the blade. That makes this machine absolutely powerful. So you cannot detach the shaft. All other blenders you find in the market, you can detach the, the shaft, which makes it very weak in this position here, exactly. So we have exactly a, a full powered machine, which is connected and only the blades are detachable. Now we have got four blades here, as you can see. The A blade, I call this flat blade, is the A blade for aerating. Basically what you do is, you do like the hand whisk, you beat up and make foams and creams, create creams. So it's aerating. Huh? Then we have the second one with the hooves. This is basically emulsifying, is blending the liquids together but it's also used to do mashed potatoes. Then we have the C blade, the chopping blade. Chopping and crashing. All these blades are non-sharp. So basically I can touch it, it's no problem at all, but it has the power with the torque we generate about this machine to basically chop and crash anything you want from soft up to hard. So no problem at all, even ice cubes and uh, frozen fruits. No other machine can do that, believe me. I'll show you later on. And then we have got the S-blade, which is slightly sharpened. This is basically used to do uh, or to cut and chop a fresh vegetable with vibers, so vibery things, as well as fresh meat and fresh fish, because most of the time they have some fat and nerves inside, so you need to cut them. So it's a little bit sharpened, but you won't uh, cut your hands. Huh? So all these blades, are non-sharp. When you go to our competitors' machines, they always use sharp blades. But what happens with a sharp blade? After a while, it becomes unsharp and it doesn't do the job anymore. So that's why Bamix is a lifetime machine. Also, the motor is built for a lifetime. That's why we give a lifetime warranty. Absolutely crazy. Now, just to give you a, a quick idea, there is two different uh, uh, ways how to work with these blades. So I have the A and the, and the B blade, aerating and blending blade, which is very easily. I'll show you here right away the movements you have to do with this. So what you do is, if you use A and B blade, you just go inside, switch on, and then slowly, after a few seconds, you angle it and just go up and down. Just change your angle a little bit, but very gently, very softly. So you don't need to do anything. The machine is doing everything. So you just need to guide it. Very simple, very easy. Once you have the consistency you like, you just turn it around, very gently, very easy. No rush, no hurry. Everything is done by this machine. It's so powerful, okay? Then, if we use the C blade and the S blade, it's completely different handling. You go into the pot, or into the receptacle, and then you just go up and down and crash. Just let the Bamix drop into the food, up and down, and angle a little bit, twist a little bit with your hand. Just don't push only straight away, because otherwise you stuck the food all into this uh, machine here. Okay, so just go up and down, up and down. Very simple, very easy. That's the two ways how you work with Bamix. Now there's only one thing you have to know, there's two switches. One is the low speed and second is the high speed. 99% of your applications you do always use the high speed. The only time you use the low speed is basically when you use the A blade because you are aerating. So you start with a low speed. Once you get to a certain consistency you like, you can switch on to the high speed and then just move on. So that's the only one you use low speed. Otherwise, always high speed, even with all our accessories, which I'll show you right away. Now, what is important when you put on the blades? Make sure the cord is off, just for safety reason. But if you don't, then please make sure you don't have your hands just over the switches, because it's a, it always can happen something. What I do, I'll hold it this way, I'll take the blade, and then as you can see here, there's a little pin on the shaft, basically on the transmission unit. There's a small hole here on the blades, on, all, on each blade, which secures basically the blade from pushing out. So then you just 
fix it and click in. So you hear the click. Now this blade is absolutely safe between these four legs. And these four legs basically protect the blade or the receptacle. Huh? So we switch on just to show you. Now this machine is working. And the blade is basically spinning around. When we go on top, you see, doesn't happen anything because it doesn't even touch the surface of the receptacle. The most important is that you put it really per perfectly on. Huh? Now, when you take it off, please plug off and then just with your hand push it out. If you have problems to push it out, we have a little tool here, a little gadget, which is very interesting. This is a brush and on the other side you have a hook. You just go in and just push it outwards like this. And it's very simple, very easy. Tuck. And the blade is off. This you can do with all the different blades. All right. Now we have here, let's put this a little bit away here. We have two different <coughs> accessories, which are very important in my opinion, because here we can grind down spices, herbs, nuts, everything. What you have is a little grinder here with a, re a removable blade. So this is basically the dry grinder. You have the blade inside already, you close it, and then you have four holes on the top, where with these four legs, you just put it inside, then I show you, we'll switch on. And this is the thing is working. Huh? Okay. Now the same thing we have here. This is basically the same thing, but this is a dry and wet grinder. Dry grinder, wet and dry grinder. Or we call it also the processor. It's basically the same, but here we have a fixed blade which secures the machine more. So you go on, delete. Same thing, switch on, <laughs> and that's it. When we come to the processor, we have another nice tool, which is called the powder disc. So if you have very small quantities, and sometimes it's a, it's a mess to, to waste uh, food. So we just use a small quantity. We need only a small quantity. You can do that. Put this powder disc on top of here, on the blade. So basically you close it more closely to the blade and the food will become, or the spices becomes really powdery. Huh? Just go on and that's it. A few seconds. So these are the two little things which are very important. I use them every single day and I'm pretty sure and I'm convinced you will use this as well because it's really very useful. Okay. Last but not least, we have the slicer. This is basically a slicing machine to do a lot of things. We have either a blade and we have here also a little disc with different blades. So we have three different uh, rasps and two different slicers. So you can put this onto this plate. Let's prove one. So we have here this blade. One is straight and the other one is curved. Just put it in the right way on top of here and then just push it down. And that's it. Then you go in and here it's spinning around. The same thing happens here. We have a gear on the top transmission unit. Just put it on top here like this. Go with the machine without blades on top of this accessory and then just move it on. We also have a pusher so you can see what's happening down there. But where you have also this pusher when it's the food should be down and doesn't fit. You just push it slowly downwards. Mostly you do it with one finger. Don't push it that way. You don't need your weight because everything is done by this machine. It's so powerful. So, very simple, very easy. On the other hand, we have this 
chopping blade. This one is very sharp, so it's got the protection on top of it. You just take the prote protection away. Just go inside the bowl, close it with the transmission, very simple. Go on top of it and you chop. If you want to see how the food looks like, you just open up the pusher, you can look inside. The pusher is quite, or the, the opening space here is quite small. The reason why is for safety reason, so you cannot put your hand inside and you will never touch the surface. Huh? Okay? That's why we have to make it in this way. So, when you pull off the blade, after cleaning, and be careful when you're cleaning because this is really sharp, you just put it back into the protection, just for safety reason. And this one is something you should put away from the kids because here they can really hurt themselves uh, very much. My kids used to use or used to, to work with Panix, but I'll put this always away. I want to be there if they use the slicer, just for safety reason. Huh? All right. What else we got? We got different jacks and different beakers. So these are optional. Sometimes it comes together with the set, so you may already have those. A 400 milliliter beaker, which is perfectly to use to do a mayonnaise. A 600 milliliter beaker, which is useful also to do some dips, sauces, whatever you want. Just close it down. It's a ceiling cover, and you put it in the fridge. And even the jack, mostly I do my smoothies in there, or I do a soup in there, whatever, instant soup. And this also, you can cover it with this lid. This one is not sealed, but you can close it, put it in the fridge, and when you want to open it, you just tear it in your beakers. Very simple, very easy. So, besides that, it's very important, very important. Sometimes, or from time to time, we need to clean this little gear here. So that's why we use this brush I showed you before. On one side, we have the hook to pull off the blades. On the other side, we can clean with this brush. Uh, and once in a while, you should also put a drop of oil in here just to make sure that the gear or the transmission will, no, will have no friction. So we have specific Bamix oil, which is a, a kind of uh, vegetable oil which you can use. Just a drop here and then you go into a pot of water and then just spin it a little bit around. Just a drop. Or if you don't have any specific oil, you just use your olive oil, what you have. Just a little drop on here and then just wash it out. That's all what it needs. But it's important for hygienic reasons after each use, after each application, to take off the blades. Just for hygienic reasons, because sometimes there's some food particles behind this, sitting behind this wrist here, and this is not healthy, not for you, neither for your kids or for anyone else. Next, what I want to show you is the Vortex. This is something you need to see the power of this machine, which I was talking before. So, what you do is, Take the blade, fix it on the transmission unit, just click it in, make sure that it's in. As I said before, plug off or hold the Bamix in this way. Now, I'll show you how much power we got. This is a 200 watt machine. Everybody is claiming to have higher power, higher power, higher power, which doesn't mean anything. Actually, it's about the instant torque you generate with this AC lifetime vortex creating machine. And I'll show you. Here we go into the water. Just start. And here you have a spinning around. This is just crazy. Look, look how much it spins. This is absolutely crazy to see. Then you just clean the Bamix a little bit. And you see it's still spinning. This is the craziness of this machine. Absolutely powerful, very nice. Just to give you another idea how crazy this machine is, we'll take just a little bit of water, cold water, then I have here instant coffee. 
This is instant coffee. Just want to show you the magic of this machine. So I'll put two, two and a half spoon of coffee powder in here. And this is only water and coffee. Now, we change the blade because here we do need the A blade for aerating. And this is just to give you an impression of how fast we can really create nice food here. A blade, we go into the beaker here. Then low speed, as I told you before, very important. We start, one, two, three, then angle it, slowly, slowly, push it up, go down, push it up again, angle it. Very simple, now we have a certain consistency. I go back to the high speed, and then I start to just mix it around. Very simple, very gently, very easy. You see, this is just crazy. Water and air, can you imagine? Look at this. This is a foam, coffee foam made out of water and coffee. This is just crazy. Look at this. Now we turn it around and we spin it. And it's still spinning. Very simple, very easy. So, we wash our Bamix into a bowl. Very simple, we clean it, and five seconds the Bamix is cleaned. You can use it for the next application. Just pull off the blade, very simple, here, and the blade is just cleaned. Very simple, very easy. So this is all about the power of this machine. I hope I could impress you a little bit. As you can see here, this is just amazing. Look at this, just a foam. You see, absolutely crazy. Now, what is important? We will show you the different blades, as I spoke before. We'll do this during our session, food session. So we'll do some recipes together, so I can really show you how this machine works perfectly. I can only give you a suggestion. For all those who have already a Bamix, I'm pretty sure they are excited as I am, because in my kitchen I got only two machines. The one machine is my coffee machine, obviously I love coffee, and my second machine is my Bamix. With Bamix I can do almost everything, and I don't need any other kitchen appliance. What I want also to suggest to you, just imagine you have such a machine. This is a table blender. So with the table blender, you can do everything, but it's more convenient because what you do is you pull all the food into the beaker and you just switch on, switch on a button and it's just convenient because you can run away and the machine is doing everything. Or we have the other way around, a stamp mixer. Bamix does exactly the same thing, but you always need to bring the food to the machine. Bamix, we use it that way and everything is done by your hands. So it's more useful because and exciting because it's, it's experience over convenience. I love to have my own experience. And by the way, with every application you do with the Bamix, you can do in less than a minute. There is only a few applications. You maybe need more than a minute. This is when you do a dough, uh, cake dough or bread dough then maybe you need two minutes. Everything else is done in less than a minute. 90% of all applications and tasks you do in the kitchen is done less than 30 seconds. And I will show you later on how this is possible. All our accessories with the slicer, the same thing. Everything you do with this slicer is done less than a minute. Maximum two minutes when you do dough. When you use the grinder, the dry grinder, the wet and dry grinder, you do everything in between 20 and 30 seconds. The only task and application which you need more, approximately one and a half to two minutes, is when you do peanut butter. That's the only application. Otherwise, everything is done in less than a minute. Amazing. I don't know any other machine 
in the kitchen who can do such a fast process. This is just crazy. Believe me, you will enjoy this Bamix. If you don't have one, please try one out and I'm convinced you will never take it out again anymore. Thank you for watching and please get some more information on our website and we see each other soon. Thank you.